Hey there, good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. We're gonna do um, just some nice full body yoga and we're gonna start in standing. <clears throat> so come to the top of your mat, maybe you pop your toes, roll out your rank, roll out your rankles, <laughs> roll out your ankles and your wrists. Stand with your feet about hip distance apart. Spread your toes. Lift your heels and put the weight into the balls of your feet. And then set your heels back down. Suck your belly in. Squeeze your hips together. Inhale your shoulders up. And exhale the shoulders down the back. Glide the shoulder blades down the back, palms facing forward, chin slightly tucked so that your ears are right over your shoulders, and then close off your eyes. Feel the difference in this pose with your eyes closed. Begin to connect with your breath, taking nice, slow, full inhales and nice slow full exhales and try to come back to this breath anytime something in this yoga class gets difficult or anytime your breath begins to wander just try to bring it back to this place Scoop your hands up. Nice big full inhale. Exhale the hands down through heart center, fluttering the eyes open. Inhale the arms up. And grab the right wrist with the left hand and exhale over to the left. Really spiral the rib cage open here so that the heart and the gaze are towards the ceiling. Inhale through center and exhale, same thing on the other side. Inhale the arms up and then begin to make little circles with your upper body. Like you're drawing a circle on the ceiling with your hands. Nice, slow, full inhales and exhales. Really getting the head into it and then changing directions. Inhale to find center and exhale. On your next inhale, you're going to step back with your right foot and twist your torso open towards the left so that you're in a nice, gentle standing twist. Let this twist come from the base of the spine so the hips are nice and square, parallel with the front of the mat, and then we begin to twist right above the hips. It moves up the spine through the shoulders and the neck last. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, step back with the left foot and twist the upper body towards the right. Inhale up through center, whoa, lots of bounce. <laughs> Take a nice big inhale. And then on an exhale, slowly begin to fold forward keeping your back nice and flat. And when you get to halfway, suck that belly in, take a micro bend in the knees and try to hold this for three breaths. And 
fold forward. Uh, <clears throat> if you need to take a deep bend in the knees here, feel free to do that. Feel free to modify any of the poses I'm providing. Maybe your body's asking for something a little different, so just use what I'm doing as a guide and just make it your own. Maybe clasping the hands together behind the head. Opening up through the hip bones, really sending your hips towards the ceiling. Take that right hand around the left ankle and begin to twist towards the left. Left hands go towards the ceiling and then maybe you take that left hand behind your back and grab your right thigh. You could always bend into this a little if you need to. If you're in the little twisty bind, go ahead and come out of that. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold deep. And then we're going to take the same twist. Take the left hand around the right ankle. Twist over towards the right. Bring the right fingertips towards the ceiling. Maybe you stay here. Maybe take that right hand behind the back and grab that left thigh. Fold forward. Maybe on each inhale, grow long. And on each exhale, fold deeper. If you're in that bind, go ahead and come out of it. Come to center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, lift the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, step, hop, or float back to plank. Exhale, ride your breath down. Inhale, find a back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ah. My hair is in my face. Your downward dog should be able to just rock forward straight into plank. So that's a good way to measure if your hands and feet are far enough apart. Maybe your knees are deeply bent. Maybe you're up on your toes. It's going to take a few breaths here. Squeeze the armpits towards one another. Suck that belly in. next inhale begin to walk your way towards walk your feet towards your hands I'm just losing my words this morning and forward fold inhale to halfway lift exhale to fold inhale reverse swan dive Exhale, inhale, reach for the ceiling. Exhale with a flat back, fold forward. Inhale, step, hop, or float back to downward dog. 
exhale. Inhale, wave the bunny forward. Plug those shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, lower yourself down. Inhale for a back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna stay here. Lift that right leg towards the ceiling, three-legged dog, big stretch here. You're gonna inhale right knee to right elbow. And then exhale to three-legged dog. Inhale, right knee to nose. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, you're gonna turn this into a fallen triangle. So you're gonna spin that left leg so that the outer edge of your foot is parallel with the back of the mat. You're gonna bring your weight onto your right hand and the right foot is going to go towards the left side of your mat and then maybe you lift that right foot off the mat we're going to hold this awesome flip it back into a three-legged dog And then moving through knee to nose, step that right foot between the hands <clears throat> and come up for warrior two. The toes should be right under the fingertips. Right leg, right toes are facing the front of the mat. Outer edge of the left foot is parallel with the back of the mat. Suck that belly in. Roll the shoulders down the back. Inhale to straighten that right leg. Breathe. On your next inhale, reach those right fingertips forward and then begin to bring the right fingertips to the inside of the right foot for triangle pose. Left fingertips are towards the ceiling. You're really Squeezing your legs together here, protecting those hip joints. Gaze can be either towards the left fingertips or towards the right. Whatever feels good on your neck. Maybe you take that left hand behind the back and see if you can catch that right thigh. Maybe you even take the right hand underneath the right thigh and see if you can clasp the fingertips together. If you're in one of those binds, go ahead and come out of it. Like you're scooping ice cream, scoop that left hand down and come into pyramid pose. So here, Maybe you need to scoop your feet in just a little and fold forward over that right leg. We're really working towards keeping our hips square. Just pulling that left hip forward, squeezing that right hip back. You're gonna take the left hand to the inside of the left foot for a revolved triangle. We're doing all the triangles today. If you've ever worked
worked out with me, you know what pose is coming next. You're going to bend into that right leg a little. Take the left hand, reach it just above the top left corner of your mat, and then begin to float that left leg off the mat for revolved half moon. Awesome job, and step it all together for a forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step, hop, or float the legs back to plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, find the back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, that left leg high, three-legged dog. Take a nice big inhale, left knee to left elbow. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, bring it all the way through for that fallen triangle. Inhale, flip it back to a three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Coming up for warrior two. Are you guys getting hot yet? Oh, forgot to put a hair tie on my wrist. <coughs> Sorry. Inhale that left leg to straight. And then exhale, reach forward with the left fingertips, bending forward, coming into triangle pose. You might need to wiggle the feet a little closer together. If you took a bind on the other side, go ahead and give it a try on this side. in that bind, go ahead and open up, scoop that right hand down like ice cream, and then fold forward over your left leg. From here, we're going to move into a revolved triangle, the right hand on the inside of the left foot, and then begin to twist the torso open towards the left, left fingertips go towards the ceiling. Try to squeeze those hips to square. Should be a great stretch down the back of that left leg. From here, we're gonna find that revolved half moon. So bend into the left leg. Reach the right fingertips just above the top right corner of the front of your mat and float that right leg off the mat for revolved half moon. Gaze can be towards the fingertips or to the floor, whatever's comfortable for you. And then bring it all together for a forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, scoop the hands up for reverse swan dive. Exhale, hands to heart center. Sit back into chair pose. Suck your belly in. We're going to be spending a few breaths here, working on that butt. Maybe find a little bounce in your chair. You can keep the hands at heart center. Take them down like a skydiver or even reach them up. Take a nice big full inhale. Nice big full exhale and fold forward. Awesome. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Step, float, or hop back to plank. Exhale. Ride your breath down. Inhale. Find a back bend. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale that right leg up. And exhale the leg through between the hands. This time you're going to come down and find a low lunge. My hair is just ridiculous. <laughs> Scoop the hands up. your next inhale, you're going to transition into half split. your next inhale come forward and heel toe the right leg to the left side of the mat and find your pigeon pose winding things down now take your pigeon pose wherever you like I like for pigeon pose to be a little free time you can either stay upright and work on strengthen those hips Or you could fold forward and really get deep into the stretch. So let's take about five breaths wherever you want to be. you are, I invite you to try finding a little back bend in your pigeon. Or maybe even bending that back leg. Finding a little king pigeon. you are awesome job 
Go ahead and bring our fingertips to the mat. Tuck those left toes. Send that leg back for downward dog. And now we're gonna send our left leg high. Three-legged dog. Bring that leg through, place it between the hands. Find low lunge. You can always find variations in any of the poses. If you're looking for more, maybe take a little twist. Always feel free to use props, blocks, straps. Just want to make sure that in this low lunge, we're still working towards keeping those hips nice and square. We're squeezing those hips together so that they're parallel with the front of the mat. On your next inhale, transition into half split. Hips should be right over the right knee. Feels good to have your left leg flexed here. Micro bend in the knee so that you're protecting that knee joint. And then just fold over that left leg. Maybe you can't get that deep today. Maybe you're up on your fingertips. Wherever you are, you want a nice Strong, long, straight line of energy from the base of your spine all the way through the crown of your head. So we don't want to be back bending into this. Unless you're in the forward folded position, if you're flexible enough where you can fold forward, then you can begin to curve the spine and get a little bit of a back stretch out of this as well. On your next inhale, bring this forward and transition into Pigeon Pose. Maybe even taking your hands to your hips and feeling if they're square. <clears throat> Same thing here. This Pigeon Pose is just a little free time. Take the pigeon wherever you want. Wherever you are, I invite you to find a little back bend in your pigeon or even play with bending that back leg and finding mermaid or king pigeon pose. Any of you who watch my videos probably can tell that today I am not that flexible and that happens. Some days your body is nice and loose and some days it's not. It's one of those stiff days for me. So wherever you are, this time we're going to roll onto the outer edge of our left hip, swing the right leg around, find seated staff pose. Sit up nice and tall, find that good final posture. And then bring the hands down by the legs and begin to walk the hands forward to find a little forward fold.
I'm so stiff today. The day before yesterday, I ran for 30 minutes and then took an hour and a half Taekwondo class. So I think that got me kind of stiff. All right, wherever you're at, we're gonna begin to roll up one vertebrae at a time. I kind of got ahead of myself there. <laughs> Head and neck should be the last thing to come up. Oh, this is such a stretch for my back right now. Then reach the fingertips out towards the legs and slowly begin to roll your body down to the mat. Arms over the head for a full body stretch. Here's an opportunity to take whatever pose you feel like. Maybe recline twist, plow pose, legs up the wall. Maybe you want to try a back bend or a bridge. Me, I'm going to take recline twist. I'm going to cross my right leg over the left and let my legs spill over to the left gaze over my right shoulder. Inhale the legs to the center if you're in that reclined twist. And then twist to the other side. Wherever you're at, begin to make your way into our final pose. Resting pose. Savasana. Take the legs out as wide as your mat. Let the feet fall out to the sides. Tuck the shoulder blades underneath the body. Unclench the jaw. Relax the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Connect back with that breathing. Stay here for as long as you like. We're going to end class in Savasana today. May you all have a blessed day and a wonderful weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday. Namaste.